So this is going to be the second part of the whiteboard animation tutorial and this part's probably unnecessary and I never use it but if you're really a masochist about this sort of stuff here's some some little flourishes you can add to it. So imagine you watch the previous tutorial and you have your whiteboard animation and it plays at the speed that you want. Okay and um, what I what first thing you're going to do is go down to the timeline and zoom in as much as you possibly can. And then I got some stock footage, and then probably I want to zoom out here. I got some stock footage of um, a hand holding a pen. Okay, and now I let me zoom back out. I want to get it to be there the same amount. Um, now notice this pen has, um, I just got this off of Google. Um, it has a white background. I want to get rid of that white background. I just removed the white color. Okay. And then I want the pen to start off of the screen. So let me zoom out here to say 25%. Let me start with my pen out here. And then um, and then I want to go and then see it starts right there. So let me just move the pen in. Oh, let me um, first add an animation. And then I want the pen to move in there. And then see then it, it writes and if you're really a stickler for detail um, you could really map out every single letter but really you know that's not a job for after for um, Camtasia that would be more something like After Effects so I'm just gonna move it for every word here so this is and then a um, oh. And I want to, and every time I move it for a word, I want to add an animation. Wait, and so let me just add an animation, and then and it's not going to look perfect because I'm going to do it very fast here. But let me just get. So, and then down here. And add an animation. Okay. And let's just add another animation to get to the end of that word. And then we zoom out. And then as, as soon as we're done there, I want to add an animation where I move the hand off of the thing. Okay, let's test that now. So, okay, not perfect, but <laughs> it, um, it does look a little like the hands drawing it. And if you really want to get it perfect, you could go in and add an animation for every single line and that sort of thing. And as you, if you were to increase the clip speed even further, you would notice it even less and less. Um, but uh, you know, again, this isn't a perfect solution for After Effects, but and it's probably not necessary. I don't, I don't really find it necessary. I don't see the the image of the hand as being that meaningful. Um, but some people like it, and um, this is some of the solutions I've seen online. I think if you want a really nice tracing hand, um, one neat solution I saw was to um, add. Let's see, go to Cursor Effects select this media and then um, change the cursor the mouse cursor size and you know change the colors and properties of that mouse cursor right um, so forget about the hand right now just the mouse cursor that we recorded when we did Camtasia and then actually use something like After Effects to actually um, create a motion that the hand can trace in After Effects but that that's a rather complicated process here, this will get you approximately right, and certainly nothing that an animator would be so proud of, but since I'm not an animator, it's fine enough.